so when we are done a choice we can't just um... yeah let's go with it we mess up we mess up I didn't remember why I had become a game deck. Choose the dialog option, uh, left click is text, or click the corresponding number on your keyboard. See the conversation history, click the arrow at the top of the dialog window. At some point, I must have decided he was a reasonable way of making money. And I just got used to it. I was around about the real world, that is, really. You could hear of Warsaw City humming outside the city. I lived in Tower Stone in Vola. It's the end of the 22nd century, and the people were crazy happy. Kidding. Some were, some weren't. Which group did I belong to? They call you Career. I saw numerous cases, so people started to believe I was credible, and credibility was crucial in my line of work. Pretty much everything can be falsified, but you can't fake credibility. Games, besides being my workplace, also became a second home. Did I ever play for fun? Yes, sometimes I did. Dark out day. It was time to check if there were any new jobs. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. Warsaw City, my pot. Got the window. Walkway, square, space, and chasm. That's what modern cities look like. The middle layer, mid city, despite dense developments, you can still see the sun and pieces of the sky, as well as a long way down. Nice view. Felt the connection with the people above and below. I could hear the transit tubes. New mobiles and the humming ads. It was never quiet. This is where the rich uh, met the poor and the light meet darkness. A place where you could pretty much whoever you wanted to be. And where advertising drones peep through people's windows looking for new victims. <laughs> I had a few things I need to think over. You can't really contemplate without the drink in your hand. Luckily, the server bot knew exactly what I needed. Coffee. Some dialogues are available only if you have the right profession. Such options begin with the name of a profession. Click the icon on the left edge of the screen or press I to see the profession tree. Aspects are parts of Game Deck's personality expressed through actions, force, and emotions. Be kind to gain the empathy aspect, inspire someone to gain inspiration, etc. Aspects are grouped into four following personality types decisive red, analytic blue, creative yellow, and sociable green. Professions unlock special conversation options, enabling you to do more. Hover your cursor over a profession to see its description. Each professional requires a different personality. The description will indicate which aspect unlock a given profession. A profession will be highlighted if you have the required aspect. Click and hold the left mouse on, on a profession to unlock it. Don't meet the requirements. Don't meet the requirements. Don't meet. Don't meet. Don't meet. Scalpel we can do. Infotainer.
Can I unlock both of them or do I have to pick one? Infotainer, you know how to produce a lit show and how to smile to the camera. You possess a rare gift, charisma. And you know how to use it. You can turn any conversation into a media interview and transform resisting into locators into fusy companions. People recognize you, want photos with you. Everyone is nice to you. Almost everyone. You know how to communicate with mini medibots and how to stop a hemorrhage or stabilize the wounded. You can use medical equipment. You recognize disease symptoms and life threatening conditions. You don't panic when someone loses consciousness and you can perform CPR. You are a scalpel. Hmm. Brain fixer, what a name. Uh, I don't think I want to be an uh, infotainer. That sounds. Horrible to be. Let's go with scalpel. Codex Production The dark bravery of the gods. I should choose some of the cheap synthetic stuff and ground beans, which obviously cost more. Uh, more expensive option. Was going to beat myself up for something I had already paid for. I decided that would drink synthetics when the good stuff was gone. I decided to think some stuff over and get to work. Uh, do some events. Somebody been talking about the Pygmalion technology developed by Blue Whales Interactive. It upgraded AI to the level of human psyche. Recent gossip, a na man named Ken Zhu, a young uh, good or bad star, screwed up in the last game and his black angels lost. Good or bad is a game where you feel actual pain. When you get hit, it gets more and more intense. There are no damage points. Suddenly, in the middle of the game, when Ken was on his way to the enemy fort, a glitch appeared and made Zhu drop his seal. Ken got mad, logged out, and then come back to the game. A classic rage quit situation. During the press conference, he said he didn't know what got into him since that game. Since that game, his whole career has been in question. Then if we are gonna consider that to be for us then, huh? I think it was a neural overlord. His example showed the games involved in repaying could be dangerous. Ken's anger must have been induced by his suffering. Going pro leads right to trouble. Let's see what else. Plus on games and millions of players mean plenty of cases for game decks. Hatred, greed and deviousness are especially common online. Two topics have been especially popular in the media recently, digital love and whether it's better to live online or in real. Games are really, you know? 
I took a sip. Game fans say they let them fulfill the dreams that they don't have to obey the rules of nature, which are a bitch. They can choose gender, looks, go on adventure, opponents call it escaping, claim you can only get tough in Rhenium. Mm. Rhenium presents real challenges, on the other hand good money can be made online too, and it's no less complicated than Rhenium. Eh, for games. Since the wars are kingdoms in themselves, there are plenty of fierce people in nuances. I wasn't surprised some people called them home. Being, experiencing things in games is no different than experiencing them in real life. Just a different and more interesting level of reality. Time to get to work. You box one is this purchase. So City News, the latest domestic and international news all day long. Today is Monday, July 17th. My name is Gina Gord, and this is the news. Consult the youngster good at bads, loses the game miserably. Zoo blames everything and glitches in the game. Could this be the end of the youngster's career? Control panel for the apartment's AI, yeah, uh, find piece of software that didn't treat fridge contents as its first priority. <laughs> you also talk to it, its name is Blaze, that's the default name, and everybody has changed it. Logo 2 Wales appeared on the panel. Thank you for purchasing a product manufactured by Blue Whales Interactive, the leading field of AI, BWI, never alone. You're activating Blitz for the first time to start configuring software to your liking. Damn, something had reset my settings, probably another failure in the tower or a search upstairs. I had to reconfigure everything again. The logs? Was nothing in the system, logs the previous activation conversation would be in the cloud, provided but they existed. Probably somewhere in the Blue Whales Interactive Service, too high a bar for me. You had to be a real magician to access, access them. Holographic figure appeared in the air. Hello, I'm Liz. How can I serve you? Hey, hi, what? What do you mean? Don't you remember me? Why does everything break all the time nowadays? Income called Jeffrey Haggis. Someone was sensing me, it turned out to be a man called Jeffrey Haggis. Do you know him? Nevertheless, I answered. Please come to me. I'll tell you everything when you're here. Oh, you're yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, you're there. Please come see me. Blue Wales Interactive Tower, level 255, south entrance. I'll tell you everything when you're here. Okay, so we need to go to... Um, Blue Wales Interactive Tower.
Hmm. Why well, about details? You tell me some more information, I still told you, you need to get here first. Negotiate down payment. Hold on. Let's have a little respect for each other's time. I don't know anything about the case. I'm not sure whether a certain amount. I get it. You want a down payment. Try to see it right now. Hope it's enough. Yes? Great. I'm waiting. Disconnected. My computer control account communicated with household appliances, let me send messages and did everything else. It was old and could use an upgrade, but it still worked well enough to be reliable. Me. A few uh, emails from clients I had helped, I need to reply to those. Reply to emails. Uh, first, Mr. Senator Stone was great for working out uh, what his daughter was doing in the Dunyan Leap. Reply uh, kindly. Well, then I was happy to hear from him and asked how he, his daughter was feeling. It's good to nurture relationships with clients. Go through the other emails quickly. Someone invitation to events. Someone spam. I replied. Check contracts. I already had one contract, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Maybe there would be another one. What's well, my lucky day? Mr. Game Day, come play Crying Guns with us. It's a lot of fun. We may not be able to pay you, but... Bunch of kids. I didn't want to deal with that. But the contract from Haggis was the best thing I could give my attention to. Net. In the case, I wonder if anything would suffer from the net. Look at Haggis. Who was Jeffrey Haggis, the director of the programming department at Blue Wales Interactive? Why, Felinor, son Frederick, uh, Fredo to his friends, his assets are recorded in eight figure amounts. That was all I could find. The Blue Wales Interactive. Blue Wales Interactive, or BWI, the leader in the field of AI, the flagship product, the dating game, Paradise Beach. Little less known, but still popular, was the game Knight's Code, a clan battle game based on medieval Japan. It made luxury helmets and ladies and gentlemen, they could make human beings. Their Pygmalion upgraded AIs mimicked human psyche. Games? Gossip. It's time to catch up on some game gossip. Why the comments about the new NPEX in Paradise Beach? None of that, nothing interesting. Check the dark web. Uh oh. Check the dark web for something juicy. An almost fatal accident in Happy Hunting Ground. How gory. A creepy clown in Twisted and Perverted who rats players about a virus outbreak. Odd, not surprising. That was about it. Games, voice stars. Uh, I earned in several games, but was recently focused on one. White stars. Still in development, even though it had already been released. It was supposed to be bigger than all previous space simulations, though that was hard to imagine. I had already bought a few ships, I just couldn't help myself. They were damn expensive. What the hell? I love looking at my fleet. <coughs> Is this Star Citizens? <laughs> Read the news. Welcome to the void. We know you want to play, and so do we. Unfortunately, we are carrying out the maintenance checks so we can constantly improve. Back soon. Browse fleet. Enter the hang and uh, where was the spawn all ships option? Found and collected. What a beautiful view. Starting from the lightest vessels, fly rock and interceptor spacecraft, slide hawk and assault unit. Orca, an infantry carrying dropship, and the gunship, a giant, and the two jewels in the crown. Corsair, a big exploration ship. And Skywalk, a merchant vessel as solid as it was bulky. Beauty is all of them. While Sir X would really make his collection sound. And I was more excited in expanding one's fleet. The much hyped Volter X was sure was tempting. A fantastic exploration vessel with a medical bay, a hangar with a scanning ship, 
Strong armor and a crew of bots at your command. Also a bargain price. The price will increase later. Damn it, I couldn't afford this baby given the state of my finances. Mm. Right. Vulture the beauty of plays dreams of reading testament of willpower and that discount. Damn it, I couldn't afford this baby. Leave. Virtual couch made by Surfer Ind. Not one of their newest models, but it was still reliable. At least I thought it was. A port would call it a gateway to the sensory worlds. To me, it was just a tool of my trade. Look at the helmet. It was starting to fall apart and need to replace it. Damn it. Such important gear it wouldn't come cheap. Couldn't afford it at the moment. I need a few jobs first, or one big job that paid well. Check fluid level. Fluid levels are low. I still had a few tanks left, but it's always good to have reserves. Hmm. Water. Done. The delivery drone will be here in a few hours. Check couch load. July 17, 2199, 3.30 p.m. My last session took. Cal showed an error message and a suggestion to restore default settings. Maybe surf in the couches weren't as reliable as I had thought. This thing's glory days were long gone. The game deck shouldn't skimp out on things like this. It was time to consider buying a new one. All the doors protected me and my apartment. Maybe they protect the walls of city from me. Uh, hmm, let's see, did I mean. Get a new job. Get a job, man. Okay, I'm gonna refill my coffee. The director's office is behind that door. Mr. Haggis is expecting you. Yeah, right back. The computer on the desk was not secured. The empty workspace is skewed corporate solitude. The nameplate on the desk read Junior Customer Support Specialist Idris Ikari. The monitors. The screensaver slideshow changed between landscapes beyond the ABVs and the towers of Warsaw City. Breaking the sequence, an image of two women embracing appeared on one of the monitors. One of them had blue hair. Okay. Bear touched the screen and gained access to the desktop. Was it locked? There was an open BWI presentation and an unfinished hand of solitaire. Perhaps the presentation. 
I saw uh, 3D blue whales flying through the clouds, the company's logo. Anima animated slides presented financial results for the last quarter. A copy of the presentation to take a look at later. Uh, Phoenix the hand of and uh, There's nothing more to see here. Play the harp, come on. Oh, I don't want to talk to you, sir. Sir, no. No, no, no. You can't catch me. No. You're here. Ah. He could. The man took a deep breath and let the air through out through his nose with a loud wheeze. Dialogue tags. Icons and tags that appear on the left of the text mark dialogue branches that you have unlocked by your previous decisions. Other players might see something different or nothing at all. There are several ways that interaction with dialogue brands can be unlocked. Your previous knowledge, past actions, and the, and the relationship you have built can all unlock pieces of the narrative. Brands can also be unlocked by your background, the profession you have unlocked, or the deduction you have made. That shows you took a good look at me. You're here, good. He can miss you here. Here's the haggis. I'm a dead deck and... Yes, I know. Wonderful. Something is wrong with my son. He's not getting off the couch and... Well, you'll see for yourself. Been over four days. He ended some game with his friend Timmy. I talked to Timmy, but he's clammed up. His condition makes me worry even more. My son is on the couch in the next room. Let's go there now. Here he is. Find out what's going on with him and how he can be helped. Sam in freedom. I guess his son was wearing an expensive brand name suit and a state of the art helmet covered part of his face. He tells the side panel warned that he had exceeded the online time limit. I couldn't help noticing the gentle air of this gaming suit was bulging. <laughs> Sand, it was slightly trembling, but, but with a normal temperature. That happens in games, it generates lots of adrenaline. Uh, sand on his face. Learn, uh, leaned over and looked under the bias of the helmet. No signs of an extended online stay. Expensive supplements did the trick. Scalpel. I noticed a healing bruise on his jaw under his ear. Or some discoloration, the signs of scar stop overuse. The doctor had seen him many times, and he got into some strange ear pulling fights or was the victim of a domestic abuse. Haggis cleared his throat impatiently. I welcome your conclusions when you're ready. Examine the suit, check the material. The nanofiber material was a was adjusted to fit the muscles, it provided stimulation and protected the user from dystrophy. Rammer fingers of the suit's surface. The synthetic fibers emitted more heat in the places where they needed to work harder. Uh, check this faking. Grabbed his shoulders and shook him a few times. No muscle tension, he wasn't faking. The quiet sound of the suit's uh, massaging devices grew louder as the supporters brought his body back to the optimal position. Um. Um. 
Present scalpel, present your report. Mr. Haggis, Pharaoh's life is not in danger. He's properly digitalized and fine from a medical standpoint. He's been logged in for over four days, but there are no signs of adverse effects on the session. This is some excellent equipment. Doing a hard extraction by taking the helmet off is a huge risk and logging out remotely. It's impossible, I know. Like, like it is in most systems. Can you at least tell where he is logged into? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to determine that. I need to find out which game Frida logged into and then take appropriate steps. I understand, Frida entered the game with his friend Timmy. He's a spineless pushover, but that might be for the best. He's waiting in my office. Maybe he can tell us something. You better hurry though. Someone's on the way to pick him up. Codex is a popular game Dex tool. Codex contains important information you gather during your investigations. Left click an icon on the screen or press U on your keyboard to open the codex. Alright, get to work. Was rather proclaimedly dressed when he's something woman on couch the de uh, device panel of flashing warnings. To the couch panel. If you exceed the safety limits for logged in time or four days without a suit, you must have taken a game pillow or a bladder wouldn't have held out. Four days, yeah. Started uh, revitalization, but something interrupted the process, even though she couldn't control her body, I thought she could hear me. Her helmet had an external monitoring port, I could connect to it and see what happened. I just noticed uh, what I was doing. So you're prepared. When I connected to her helmet, the image was transmitted to my lenses. You are drifting in an undefined space. It wasn't an equipment or any of the games I knew. Hello, I am a game deck. I was hired by Mr. Haggis. I connected to your helmet. You talk and I will hear you on my walk tower. According to the login, your name is Starlet. Is that right? The game deck. That's, that's great. Yeah, I, I'm Starlet. I can't seem to log out. Hmm. To ask you a few questions, it helps me get out of here. Ask her what happened. What happened? How did you get here? I don't know. I don't even know where here is. I was in the game with the guys, and someone attacked me. Who attacked you? In what game? Was uh, Frido Haggis there? Sometimes if you gain information directly pertaining to the deduction process uh, necessary for solving the case, left click the deduction icon in the edge of the screen or press Y on the keyboard. Hmm. This main order in the deduction panel is a question you are trying to answer. On the left side you can see the clues so you get a possible answer listed to the right. Hover over them to learn more. Every decision in the deduction is binding and cannot be unmade. If you choose the option let the father find his son in the game, he will in fact abandon this case. If you believe you have enough information, click and hold the left mouse button over the chosen answer.
confused and exhausted. I can't. Someone definitely attacked me. I blacked out. But Idris. Do you know Idris? I saw your picture on the computer. Yes, he's my girlfriend. You come to me here to see her or the guys? Can we not talk about it right now? Get me out of here. I'll tell you everything. about a condition how are you feeling can't move or feel anything i can only talk in this emptiness i'm going crazy here uh, your revitalization wasn't completed i've seen it happen before i know how to help you offer assistance let me try and help you progress bar a progress bar appeared to your quest log it is influenced by your decisions and dialogue choices remember that maxing it out can prompt a negative or a positive outcome depending on the situation hmm. uh, and that's the problem interrupted revelation is rare could have pulled off her helmet but that might have ended badly there was a safer solution Revitalization is like waking someone up. The senses are activated in a specific order. Hearing is usually first. Dallas was already working. Then comes uh, propies, pro, uh, pre perception, deep feeling, the ability to sense the positioning of one's body, and the balance. Taste and smell activated almost simultaneously, followed by touch. Vision comes last. Here's the other thing, and I have to wake you. Wait, the hell after? What's happening? Uh, the egg detector girl seven being bombarded with extra bytes of data. Someone wants to overload it and terminate our connection. Well, someone is trying to either stop us from talking or probe me. Damn it, what are you going to do? Activate the firewall. Attack some bears to block the signal, but it's only a matter of time before they crack. It's possible to use yamming barriers to slow the attack with some much weaker reflection barriers to track the attack source. Um, hmm. Tracking barriers. What's coming from the uh, virtual. virtually. Well, let the attacks come from a gamer. I don't know which one. When I stepped on someone's toes, too bad I can't remember who's or where. Revitalize Katala. Very much time, I'm going to try to get you out of there. Finally. Waking up by stimulating your senses. Correct order was key, the revelation bar has stopped on stimulating proper perception. It seemed right to stop with that. But I'm gonna to try to finish your revelation. I'm going to need to touch your body. Is that okay? Um Move Starless Arm. Cut the ramp of Starless Arm and reel him. Race it and move it around. And the revelation bar moved forward. Uh, preparation complete. A good start, but the screen didn't display the next stage. It was. Uh, touch. Grab the hand and squeeze it. Got it and squeezing hand. Can you feel it? Not a thing. Finish. Mm. 
balance them. Uh, the side system her in the air and her sense of balance. Raise all the head. Come to raise the girl's head. Oh, is something happened. Feel this thing. Means your inner ear has been stimulated. I can stimulate another sense. Oh, it's now the touch and vision was. Touching your eye. Can you feel it? Hmm. Well. It was time for a sense of smell and he was connected with taste. I hesitated. Hmm. a piece of mint gum. I in my pocket for a pack of mint gum to get a piece. Kept a slate on a stall in helmet. Hey, I smelled something strange and now I have weird taste in my mouth. And you're still on the right track. I know it's too strong. I'm losing the connection. Oh crap. I did one wrong there. I got disconnected, even worse the tech may attract me, I had no idea where this would lead. Oh, it's unconscious, the couch panel flashes at and the interrupted revelation alarm. The display keeps reminding me of the interrupted revelation, removing her helmet in the stick could be dangerous. The breath was shallow and she wasn't reacting to anything in coma. The haggis this woman requires medical assistance. If she remains in a coma for too long, she could be in serious trouble. Matter of fact, Tom calmed him down. Yes, I'll take care of it. Please keep going. I'm worried about my son. Don't worry, I'm working on it. <coughs> he sort of floor stood up from the rest. There's no chance of a flaw in the design, nothing have been like this. Oh, so look, it looks like a hatch. It's a good place for a safe. Um, my ear against the door started knocking, I remember that was how they did it in hollow movies. I guess every being told me he almost have triggered the sound of alarm. What the fuck are you doing here? Start a professional investigation of piss off. We see your way out. With all due respect, you seem to underestimate the gravity of the situation. Tom is in great danger. All leads and all details matter. Can I show you that you won't find what's wrong with Tom on the floor? Hmm. Sticky stain. The floor was sticky in that spot. Take a closer look. The stain was light blue. Sniff. Berries and chewing gum. A barely noticeable trace of liquor. Taste it. Ran my fingers across the stain and touched my fingertips to my tongue. Sour. The ethanol was long gone. What a kid's surprised look. He cleared his throat and looked away. Comment. I was running an investigation. All details matter. And folder files all open to the BWI homepage. Read. The article was about the Pygmalion, the flagship BW product. It allowed you to create a living human psyche. Over the rest of the codex, get back to it when I had more time. Hmm. Okay, so we got those different characters.
Candles, uh, bliss, Fredo. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got some more points there. Game of stock market quotation, pin on skin, the hardware is high end, just like everything else in these rooms. This is Max of Block, I was convinced I could log in if I tried. This had to be the hardware that was monitoring Fearless Couch. Nope. I'm gonna log in there. <clears throat> the animal looked as if we were frozen in time. Take a closer look. Submerging a transparent resin substance, the panel seemed alive. Notice the uh, panel with a single red button at the base of the display. On the glass, knock softly. It felt like the animal glanced at me. Time to move away from that decoration. Hmm. <clears throat> Harp, radius instrument has attracted both artists and common mortals. Sam the harp, made of authentic uh, exotic wood, richly encrusted with ivory. Petals were gl probably gold plated, expensive stuff. It was definitely not for use, it was supposed to look good and serve as an indicator of the owner's status. Investigation was waiting. Okay, let's have a shot with Timmy. You, Timmy! You to, uh, to question me? Makes me think of South Park for some reason. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Uh, some dialogues can require more effort. The blue bar above the dialogue window represents the emotional state of the person you're speaking to. Your choice to influence that state. Try to find out how. The conversation bar reaches a lock. Additional information dialogue option will be unlocked. Hover over lock to learn a bit more. Secret, secret, secret. Yet more secrets. <coughs> And the kid looked around with terror in his eyes. When I approached him, he trembled. You're not going to question me? Mm -hmm. uh, calm down. I guess I'm going to talk. Mm -hmm. Question is best left to the police. I'm here to help Mr. Haggis' son. So let's just talk, all right? Okay, I want to help too. He nodded vigorously. Tell me what happened. It was uh, Fredo's 16th birth uh, birthday, and we we were inside on a adult game. He turned red, staring intently at his shoes. But what do you need to to know? Hmm. <clears throat> well, it's Fredo we need to ask about. Let's see what happened here. Now. Game for what? Adults? Timmy! But Fredo, your friend. Mm. 
Let me talk about Fredo. Tell me something about Fredo, anything he wants. <laughs> He's my buddy from school, same school and stuff. Once this kid, Alex, he called me names. The Fredo flushed his walk tail down the toilet. He smiled at the memory. <laughs> Then he altered the holes in the school gallery to give Alex a piggy snout that constantly oozed his dis disgusting mucus. Fredo's brilliant. Alright, I, I believe you want to help. It was for F Fredo's birthday. Did I already mention that? I'm not sure. So we logged into Paradise Beach. It's a place where adults. Get together there, so you can read all about it in the, the description. You turn red like my grandma's geraniums. and see the bed um, mark on him ask about Fredo's relationship with his father how are things between Fredo and his father do they like each other or not old man haggis is paying you no, no matter what I say you take his side anyway the truth lies where the, where the money comes from grunted the purse's lips <coughs> But uh, we're chilling. <coughs> hmm. Why is the fear coming out of the game? Yeah, but if you know. huh? why is fear still inside the game? I I don't know. He liked it there and wa wanted to stay for as long as possible. Maybe. Maybe he's having fun? I fear to have lost track of time. Would have to be have to be in an amazing session to disregard the danger of exceeding the permitted playtime. Hmm. You, you're a game deck? Confirm. Four. Uh, yeah, that's it. Focus on what I'm asking, or, you, or I won't be able to help your friend. <clears throat> Give him a lower his head and see. Oh, god damn it. Uh, what should we ask? Anything else in here? There's so many worlds to play. And this have uh... hmm. See how many worlds. Uh, you celebrated Fear's birthday and yes, one in virtual game. Yeah, but we did some pre-gaming here first. Kinda overdid it. Fear had trouble putting on his suit. He realized that he had said too much and stopped. Hmm. Well, we have to force it down. Okay, understanding, I don't think he's going to say anything. So let's uh, fret them. We will call Haggis if it doesn't continue. Come on, Timmy, either you tell me everything here, just between us, or I get Mr. Haggis and you can say it to him, what would it be? <coughs> Old man Haggis, won't, he won't do anything. He 
do he doesn't want to piss off my parents. And Fredo, he treats him like crap anyway. And he says, go and look the way. Why are you to tormenting me? You think you're helping Fredo? Mr. Haggard doesn't care about his son. He just cares about his image and avoiding a scandal. Fredo tried lots of things to get his attention. Once he jumped off a walkway in the outskirts and landed in a tree. He broke two ribs and all went haggis and never even came to the hospital. He just sensed once. Fredo was finally taken home by that guy, Alfred. Don't you, don't you get it? Don't you effing get, you get it? No one cares about us. We do. Don't give a, a fuck. Oh, what's the point? This one, why a paradise beach? <clears throat> Get info. Why do you choose paradise beach? Well, to so have some fun. Uh, I can choose his words. People normally log into Paradise Beach to pick someone up, flirt a bit, or go to bed with someone. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, Fredo says that you need to have an instinct, and we have it. We were, we were, godlike. Cause we, we always know how to handle girls, and nobody how to handle girls or Damedex. I knew he was lying. Or, are there many more questions? Yes. The situation is serious and we need to hurry. Tell me. Him turned sad when another of his questions went, un went unanswered. Hmm. Uh, anything else to ask in here? What were you doing in the virtual game? What were you doing inside the game? Well, what you. No. Normally doing an adult game. Well, get it out, buddy. It means something erotic, violent. On the beach with the girls, we held hands. I gave one a back rub. She liked it. Kimmy's behavior told me clearly that he had never rubbed anyone, ever. He was getting more confused and exhausted. Hmm. Say anything, uh, mend his resistance. Doing great, I can see you're a mentally tough guy. Most people in your place wouldn't be holding up as well. Oh, come on. Um, come on, Timmy. Where did he leave Fredo? There was Fredo when you came out of the game. He, he was on the beach by. These big dunes. That's what the details. This is rather vague. Do you remember anything that could help me identify the beach? Focus. And there it was. There was fine yellow sand and a bright blue sky. And the menu had some gravity beach chairs. Bright points. He wrinkled his brow as if coming up with his. With this, had drained all his strength. This kid shot me an uncertain look. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, 
ask about enemies. Has anyone been uh, threatening Fredo? Did he have any enemies? No way, everyone likes him and admires him. He's the best in graphics and animation, has awesome skins and bitching results in Fast and Fury. He bought the best speeder, the one for 15 fa and. Point out the scam. He bought a digital rifle for his father's cash and it made him popular. They like him because he's cool. Well, some people try to take advantage of him. He makes decisions quickly. Doesn't hesitate to buy something, do something, or whatever. Impulsive decision making is a weakness. An intelligent enough opponent could notice it and use it against him. He started to tremble even more. Fear is, he's in danger, right? Uh, hmm. Coming down would be the correct here or not? Um. Let's try calming down. Nothing serious can happen to you inside a sensory what Timmy. After all, they are designed to bring you pleasure, aren't they? Ah. Uh, boy, I didn't look convinced. Yeah, I I guess. Ask about Starlet. Get in for what can you tell me about Starlet? Okay. She's a stripper. You knew the game well, so Fredo hired her as a guide. She was very brave. He started to pick at the color of his suit. What did she do that was so brave? She was brave, what did she do? She was dancing so pretentiously and teasing us. She was so direct. She was embarrassed just thinking about the girl. She knew little of the world but was brave enough to guide us. And she was so provocative. Thankfully, mainly toward Fredo. She barely spoke to me. He had the look of a five-year-old who had logged into a horror game by mistake. Talking about Tim. Uh, the boy's a mess, do something about it. He was tired and confused. I wonder which medication would be best for him and gave him something. Please inside, he's tense. Hey Tim, take this. It will help you come to your senses. He loosened up. He was now seeing a friendlier, a friendlier reality. He looked at me with empty eyes. Talk about Tim. What game is this? Uh, this uh, why did he log off without Fredo? He left the game even though your friend kept playing. What happened? I, I didn't want to leave him. I was feeling bad, bad shaking. Yeah, I know. You don't leave your friends behind. He looked as if he was going to cry. What games do you like? You mean? Whatever Fredo plays. Space seems like the dream space of dying star shooters too. Crying guns is our favorite. Loosen up. He likes to talk about games. Ask me if it's alright. Are you alright, Timmy? You're slurring your words and trembling. How do you feel? Not too good. I'm a bit dizzy, but that's some fatigue. We play, play for a long time, you know. Doesn't seem like fatigue. Doesn't seem like fatigue, Timmy. Tell me what happened. You, you don't believe me? You didn't do anything strange. I'm a good gamer, and I gave it all my all. That's why. Frustration worse than his stuttering. Alright, Timmy, I don't have any more questions. Uh, well, I don't have any other option, do I? So. Um, Fuck. 
How long do you expect me to wait? That's for access to the computer. I need to access your computer. He looked at me, somebody else suggested something absurd, and the frown on his face deepened into a greater level of irritation. You got to be fucking kidding me. Um, uh, tell me about Frida's condition. The sun has been capitalized for a number of days. The effects may be severe. You need to let me try. He gave me a long, threatening stare from under a wrinkled brow. At least he answered, speaking slowly and enunciating each word. Axis Mundi, that's my person. If there's ever a day leak, I know what, that I will destroy you. Here's Bruce's. I saw his son's face and obviously he tends to abuse uh, Scarstop. Perhaps he's young. I had a bruised face from time to time when I was his age too. What does that have to do with the case? about the fights. He was suggesting he gets into fights, but he forgot the wrong side of the wrong person. Ha! Ah, don't make me laugh. He's been trying to make a man out of him for years, but he gets a whim. He's nothing without money. Tim's father has arrived. I sincerely apologize. I was told to take the boy Timmy home. Immobile is waiting. I can't ask him, okay? Go ahead, I don't need him anymore. Thank you, I hope you can help Frida. Hi, Timmy, hang tough. Access Mundi, access granted. Hey, honey bunny, what can I do for? Get short mid sentence and took a good look at me. Oh, you're not a honey bunny. Did something happen? Is he alright? I mean, Jeffrey is... I mean, is Jeffrey alright? Excuse me. I haven't talked to other people in years. So, is he okay? Mm, tell the truth. Mr. Haggis' son is trapped in uh, virtual room. I'm a game deck and I'm trying to get him out. I need access to this computer. The honey bunny is fine and well. That's good. What was I? Oh yes, let me give you the tour. I have access to emails, support bills, and some other system. What would you like to see? Um, cash control. Pay monitoring. Show me a monitoring. Do you know where he is logged in? I'm afraid the data is encrypted, honey bunny made it so, but I can connect to the boy and describe what he's feeling right now. I will describe it. Alright, do it. Making a connection? I can't say I like the kid's thoughts. Ask about Fear's thoughts. What don't you like about him? Not to say he makes me sick. I sense the same purple scent from him as I do from honey bunny. But his is barely noticeable, whereas Fredo's. Hard to explain how receding is. Synesthesia? I think that's what it's called. Oh, it's getting hot. He's very excited, far beyond the limits of red ecstasy. Better. She smiled and shyly slowed her head. That's what she is. You're not just a regular program, are you? Oh no, I'm a digging it. Figured that you were a digital person, as such, you were probably made by Higgis, Haggis's people. Um, ask about her access. One, can you go outside the internal building network? Have you ever left this office? No, but I'm safe here. I have everything I need in my virtual apartment. I mean, sometimes the people I watch talk about different 
Petulia, and it does cross my mind that it might be nice to see them. But only when it makes a board, I swear. I would never leave my honey bunny. Don't tell him, okay? Uh, cash control. Again. Cash one used to log in Fero. Cash two most recently used to log in Timmy. Cash three most used to log in Guest. Emails. Fero. Is there anything on Fero there? There's some correspondence between Timmy and Frederick. I'm sending it to your deck. Looks like Timmy doesn't like it when Fredo doesn't respond to his questions. Most recent logins. Show me the most recent logins for this device. The last logged in user was Fredo Haggis. I don't think he should go through his inbox, but... Oh, what the hell. Oh, I'm going to blush. I don't think you want to see this. There's a plenty of messages from that strippy starlet. Can you brief me on the conversations? Of course, what do we have here? Some rather indecent proposals of a show. A starlet girl promised him both real and virtual sensations. She also mentioned access to a game for the very adult. Tell me the physical reports. I'm afraid I can't give you access to such information. Honeybody will be upset. As politely. Information can help, Honey Bunny. It's very important. If only I could find the right words to convince you. Please? Could you please? I'm sorry, but I can't show you Honey Bunny's expensive. All I can tell you is that someone recently bought two game skins. But Haggis is wise. Do you know that you look like and have the same name as the Haggis' realistic wife? Yes, honey, but I mean, Jeffrey created me based on her personality from years ago when he was still developing the technology. I don't think we're the same person. I mean, never met her, but I sometimes watch her through the cameras. Ask about the cameras. Do you watch her through the cameras? Yes, I have access to the security center. Sometimes when I'm bored, I check to see what's going on. Uh, uh, I want to see the footage from the cameras. I can't show it to you. You're not a BWI employee. Plus, it might not be good for Honey Bunny. Hmm. Mention Honey Bunny. I'm working for Honey Bunny, Mr. Haggis, that is. He may be in some serious trouble if I'm not to be able to help him. I really can't show you those recordings, but I could take a look at them and tell you what I see. It would be faster that way. Okay, Fredo. I want to see everything with Fredo Haggis. Alright, hmm. I have over a thousand hours of recordings. Fredo sitting in the CEO's chair, pretending he's the boss. Honey Bunny is there, too, and mad, I think. I don't want to repeat what he's saying. I will play the sound. Can you play the audio for me? You little shit, what do you, who do you think you are? You've been in school, not hanging out here with your little boyfriend like two cunts. It's a place of work, not your personal brothel. Fuck are you smiling at her uh, two steps and the sound of her face being slapped. Do you want to say something? Go on, I'm listening. I heard a chair fall, followed by a gurgling cough. Someone choking on their own blood. Enough, turn it off. Uh. Couches, 
Come in the room with the couch is doing the moment of logging in. Peter and his friend are getting onto the couches. They're staggering. I think they are drunk. There's someone else getting on with them. It's strange. I can't see her face. She must have some sort of blurring software. Nothing new here, right? Nope. Ask what hand? Nope. There, couch control, logins. Still here. Fuck, how long do you expect me to wait? Goofy beats his son. Never recorded of you hitting your son. Crumbling on himself as his anger evaporated, leaving only sadness. I was no longer in the presence of a powerful CEO, but a tired and broken man. What are you going to do? Ask about the thing with the girls. What's about the thing with those girls? My son abused women. My employees, he exploited my authority and promised them things, even threatened them. I had to do something about it to try and fix it somehow. It's my blood. Save him. I'm asking as a father and I'll pay like a CEO. Get him out of here and I will do whatever you want. Let me explain. What do you have to say about this? Gonna say you saw what you saw and you made your judgment. I'm a son of a bitch and it's all my fault. He was a good kid. I had hoped he would take after his mother. Maybe the leash was too short. Too long. Try to make the thing with those girls go away somehow. Try to fix it with compensation. Uh, keep listening. Go on. He treated them like objects. I looked into his eyes when I confronted him. And he only laughed. I no longer saw my son. All I saw was a cold, calculating piece of shit that I had come to hate a long time ago. I saw myself in him. Okay, well, we keep the evidence. Okay, I'll keep the evidence, he might be useful someday. Did nothing first, and he wiped his teary eyes and cleared his throat. You want something on me? Fine, just save my son. Ask about the access to the couches. Who has access to the room with the couches? My guests and I, but no one except Freire uses them when I'm away. I looked at the couch the woman was using. Or at least that's what I thought. Okay. So we need two more greens. An eleven bit scout is fully working on the latest model of Okay, so oh, only way we I can see it is we going in. Fuck, 
How long do you expect me to wait? Uh, Mr. Hagen has come to the decision about freedom. For fucking time. We don't want to be stuck in Paradise Beach, you know, the world for people looking for love and sex. I'll try there. I know the game. I programmed it. I don't think he's there. But check it out if you're sure. He's, he's a vacant couch. Search, inspect carefully. The side panel was loose. Someone forgot to tighten the screws. Remove the panel. I had to lose some skill, but it wouldn't budge. Uh, pull. I leveled the panel up with my fingers and pulled it out as soon as I could to get a good grip. The polymer squeaked so loud that I shuddered. What the fuck are you doing over the game deck? Pull the panel. I ignored him and put more focus into pulling at the panel. He finally gave away and I found a bottle inside. Look at the bottle. Slick vessel shape alone suggests an indecent price and it shimmered with a pale blue light. I removed it from among the wires. Fox aged paper label said blue mistress. No trace of the liquid, but the sticky glass still reeked of berries and chewing gum. It was the same liquid that had made the stain I had found in the other room. I need to go back to the investigation. That was uh, over here. We got being twisted and perverted. said it went to Paradise Beach, so that's where I go. Okay. Admin PBA 12F. Good morning, I'm an administrator for Paradise Beach. I would like to perform a credential scan. I'm surprised that she wants to scan my credentials in a free to play game. Might have been because I was using Haggis's guest account. Okay, that's your game deck. An incident required an administrator to step in. Maybe I could help. Game deck. I could be offered, but we already have the right people working on this. Ask about the reason for performing the scan. What is the scan for? It's been an incident that violated the terms of use of this uh, virt virtual Ian. Okay, we have the scan. Oops. Thank you. We're going to take a second. Done. Your license with Dr. Haggis guest account has been confirmed. Have fun playing. Uh, ask about the activity. In the oh. Ask if Fredo is in the game. Hold on a second. I'm looking for a play that's currently using Mr. Haggis' account. Could you confirm that he's here? Let me check. There's no one here besides yourself. Hmm. I cursed. I was hoping to find me. But I'm here. Ask about the activity on Haggis' account. Hold on a second. Can you tell me the last time anyone visited Paradise Beach using one of Director Haggis' accounts? The register says the last login for one of Director Haggis' accounts took place exactly a week ago at midnight. That's about Fredo's last login. Hmm, much earlier than Timmy and Fredo. Could have been them. Hmm, thanks for your help. 
Session on Haggis accounts are not recorded. I can show you the Holovision content the users, the users were viewing. Kimmy had misled me. Coming here was a waste of time. The boys must have entered Twisted and Perverted. Log in to Twisted and Perverted. I hope I could find Fear there. Okay, we're going to Twisted and Perverted Street instead. Twist and perverted HUD. Each uh, Virtulum has its own HUD, a state spawn on top of the screen. In TMP, the HUD shows players level in TMP, the experience points, slots for owned objects, and accounts of kids and depths. Okay. Just to... Okay, what the heck, Mr. Unicorn? Want to see a magic trick? <laughs> he looked like a horse when approached. He neighed like one. Hello, horse. I'm a game deck and I'm not a horse. He said, and he, and he momentarily started chewing on the end of my coat, just as a horse would. What I am? It's a unicorn. Unicorns do is bring magic and a glimmer of happiness in life. That was the silliest skin I ever saw. Especially considering the wear didn't fully learn to operate the extra two legs in the tail. He threw his head and wriggled his tail. Come, I'll show you a magic trick. Okay, what's the trick? Last thing I needed was more magic in my life, but the horse seemed eager to show me the trick. Alright, let's see it. He bucked, tripped, uh, tripping over his leg and barely kept his balance. Oh yes, pick a card. Go for the deck of cards held by his teeth. The cards become more soaked than his spit in by the second. Hmm. Uh, let me take the right card. I'll pick this one. Great, just splendid. Now focus on your card, keep it close. He smiled cunningly, which made him look more like a pony. What the heck, man? Wanna see a magic trick? Kill me, you nasty troll. You don't look dead. Do you want to see a trick? That's what the skin. I saw a great many things, but why this skin? It's not a skin, I'm a real unicorn. I prance around the world, have adventures, give magic and joy to people. Do you want to rub my horn? That's not healthy. Wearing an avatar so different from your own body can be very dangerous with potentially permanent damage. This avatar isn't different from my body. I look like that because I'm a unicorn. I'm just jealous, that's what's unhealthy. If you're a unicorn, then surely you could fly, right? Here, fly just for a moment, or we just summon a rainbow. I can do anything, yes, you look. He took off, got his leg tangled up, and fell face first onto the concrete. Coordination and in the air problem. He needed Im immediate medical attention. That's about the code that turns you into horse. Can you show me the script that was run by you when you became a unicorn? What script? What? I was always a unicorn. Emerged from children's fantasies and good intentions. Did it because you know, if I had a piece of code like that, maybe I could also be a unicorn. We give it to someone who wanted to become one. The only thing that's better than a unicorn is two unicorns. He agreed wholeheartedly and gave me a card with the code. The Joker. Search for... Uh, later. I'm looking for a new player sporting an expensive skin. I saw two. Two is better than one. Brigade Bay was rude and was yelling at uh, Flap Doodle. And Flap Doodle was behaving. Brigade Bay sure wasn't a rainbow friend. It helped, didn't I? I always helped my friend. Let's find that one in the hat and let's prance towards the new adventure. He ran, he made goodbye. <laughs> oh boy. It's 
so. Hmm. Need another blues for that one. Maybe you put a point in this one, but I don't know. Maybe I need for this next one, I need two more green. Got, got killed by some uh, bird playing as a unicorn. General solid modeling work. Yeah, big fish, more like a small but loaded one. The turret from the subway, he got on the wrong side of the bus. And now they after him. If you caught him, you could afford those Lugo Weefon skins. But how will we get to him? He disappeared somewhere. Never mind, let's get to work and throw us out of the clan. Hmm. Uh, check. I have a question for you. Oh yeah, a cowboy we now had. He must have something really interesting to say if he dared to interrupt us. Investigation. To me, it sounds like it should be like a Tuga, Tuga Bay. Hmm, what do we otherwise have to do? I think that sounds like. Uh, Looking for a kid who is around here with a friend and may have been acting strangely. It was a, their first time. Don't know what they looked like, but they probably had top of the line skins. The kid's friend might have been a little frightened, knowing anything about them. Oh, that guy. God interrupts her friend and takes on an aggressive tone. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Who are you anyway? lie about being a relative huh? his uncle his old man loose and leash too much you know the kids playing in places he shouldn't be uncle short I'm mean, your old lady big fish has something about big fish looking for woman gets angry as if someone has just read her deepest secret how do you know how do you know? Woman sighs and rolls her eyes. Mia, it was eavesdropping. Ask about the clan. Ask about them. I heard you say something about some clan. 
Ask about their clan. What clan are you talking about? The woman's tone turns to one you would hear on an infomercial. infomercial. The Hon clan unites coast, sweetheart. Tell me, have you ever wondered about the point of human existence? Have you ever wondered whether there is a higher power in charge of everything? But the reality is true as we see it. You know, reality doesn't really have a look. An appearance is not one of the, its attributes. Of course, every intelligent human being starts to look for something deeper at some point in life. They ended up in the clan. How did you end up in the organization? The Hong clan only accepts prominent people, nothing more, nothing less. Don't get anything else out of now. Okay. That's game rules. Never pointed to a file hanging in the air. Download. That's the file download. Then it contained the rules of the game. watching me over his dark glasses I ask you one question think carefully before you answer are you a bloody troll game deck game deck great maybe we can help each other you just found yourself a friend about him so in general who the hell are you give me something to think about he exhaled her loudly through his nose. So you don't know me, huh? Years ago, I was a contestant, a racing star of uh, good or bad, but it's no longer the case. It was a match, a damn important one. My path to a great career. I was doing well, but it all went to shit because of a few trolls. Let's go to trolls. And how are the trolls involved? Told me in this tear in space, the grinning malicious lot attracted him here, but came to a dead end. Zed is my only lead. Jeez, investors must be furious now. Talking out during the match, what was I thinking? Zed is my only lead, investors must be livid. I logged out in the middle of the game, so embarrassing. Match. What's the deal with this match? It was a great match, the audience was crazy, Chief. I was at the enemy fortress, certain touchdown. Suddenly the sky broke, some trolls appeared with a strange structure. I froze, lost my seal, in a fit of anger, I made a rage quit. Probably ruined my career, I'm looking for revenge. I froze and lost the seal. I got so pissed off that I quit the game. Rage quit, I'm looking for them. You're in eSports? I play good or bad. I'm pretty good if I can say so myself, immune to pain. This one match was fucking important with sponsors watching and all, and I blew it. Bloody trolls. In the investigation, I'm looking for a kid. Maybe you could help me. Ask away. Maybe I'll even learn something. Gotta track down the boogers who fucked up my game. Let's go with Frido. I'm looking for a kid in Realium. He's the son of a wealthy businessman. His name is Frido Haggis. I see if I'm good enough to see a place rename what handle did he use. I don't know yet, but I'll find out. I could use a partner. It's John Forsyth, come with me. It would be useful in my investigation. I pay my debts. Good thing, Chief. And I think I can keep you from thinking about my career. You see that he has ran by and shot. I respect for the game. Start to ask them out, flirt a bit, stop the case. They have to place a claymore mine under their pillow and sneak out. <laughs> hey there, handsome. I'm the fucking trepanator. Trepanator. Man's avatar was well over 60, the body was strong man. Face wrinkling to warm smile as soon as he met my gaze. Then he whispered reverently, You know who this is, she? 
Very handsome. My name is uh, Trepanator. He is standing his hand to me the way people of the lower layers of the police did. Done the compliment. Uh, take his hand. Check his hand. Are you looking for Fredo? Looking for a kid and want to attract attention with the way he behaved. Have you seen anything unusual? Just stop looking for kids and pay attention to elders. Experience and skills are more important when having fun. Fine, there was one guy like that. Had a fitting handle. Took a bay. Made some noise at the entrance at the, to the level of the subway. It wasn't worth my time. Ask about the Tugay Bay. You tell me more about this Tugay Bay? Why are you so stubborn? I'm telling you, you're interested in the wrong person. You're in TP. Go on, experiment a bit. Okay, maybe after any case. I have a job to do. I need to rescue that kid. Maybe I could come back here if I find him soon. Let me see. He smiled broadly. Let me see. He must be important because he had someone hovering over him the whole time. What else? He ended with a friend. The latter uh, had a funny name too. Lab Duel. That's what it was. That's what his avatar. It's an interesting choice of an avatar. Quite unusual. It stands out for its refined simplicity, but a guy that does not what you had in mind. Go ahead, ask. This avatar looks natural. Your avatar looks very natural. Most players beautify themselves. You mean to ask why I choose to look like a fossil, right? You don't have to cuddle me. For me, that would be a compliment. I paid a small fortune for this avatar. The surprise at the avatar's price. It was expensive. So I managed to understand it was meant to look like this? Of course it was. If I couldn't afford it, I wouldn't play here. This isn't a free to play for broke brats. It's features you never even dreamed of. My blood tastes like strawberries. So far, I've only seen one player here with an avatar of similar quality. Okay, that's enough. Go back to my investigation. Chain, you can always come back though. He leered at my butt with a grin as I walked away. Hey now, butt alone. Uh, okay, so it seems like... To me, it seems more and more is to, to gay pay though. Man, Chief, it's a uh, penny senator, member of the legendary painters team. Ken was so excited he stopped whispering and stopped shouting. It's weird to meet someone who still remembers us. I'm mean, guess you're a pro player. I used to be. Now I'm learning a new trade. Change jobs? I, said, I would start playing again immediately if I could. In my time, players were committed. The world is getting worse by the day. Can I? And became very quiet. He lowers his head. He had the skin of a veteran, all powerful and marked his scars. Come my manners, have a drink with me and we'll talk. You offer me a bottle, it smells of strong liquor. An honor. Ken drank, burped, and focused on staying upright. The bottle must have had a hefty piece of code inside. Drink, sure. Grabbed a bottle and took a lengthy swig. Thank you. I immediately felt the sheet hidden in the alcohol hit my sense and flow through my entire digital body. I got dizzy. The sheet worked, Trepanator. Let's check out his resources. Connected to my private deck and I was too drunk to stop him. Be more careful, kiddo. I won't hurt you. I'm just copying your toys, but you never know who might be you might stumble across next time. And look to see if staying upright required his full attention. There, there. Then you both sober up and be good as new. He grinned, I know he's finishing copying my private programs. That's about Fredo. I'm searching for a player. You see him? Mangan gestured at himself with his phone. I would say you found a certain player, haven't you? I knew that I was drunk, but I thought I could investigate, but I promise I was an incredible game deck after all. 
Oh, it's only tattoos. Tattoos! Things from down the city? X. It's quick. Really? He chuckled. Thanks. You have a good eye, youngster. A bit drunk, though. Well, Sobin decided to test uh, this important uh, hypothesis. Uh, he stood on one leg and barely avoided hitting the floor. Maybe not yet. Comment on the old skin. Virtually spun before my eyes, I pointed her finger in the rough direction of one of the hallucinators and spoke eloquently. It's so old. I mean, the skin? You bet it is. What? You think the game should feature only young people? I had the impression I could investigate better, squeeze stuff out of him, that spiteful fossil. Cursing. Alcohol made my manage the optional prepared florist to raid and roughly subjugate every wicked old man in the world. You see? You asshole! You these days can't drink. Calm down, kiddo. Or you will wreck your skin. He started checking whether the sheet had damaged my avatar and he chuckled. That sheet pissed me off. It bleeded, damn it. He chuckled. Not possible. The sheet is highly realistic. You can only sober up over time. But it had a lot of time on the hands. I didn't concentrate and started shuffling away. You step, I felt the alcohol sheet evaporated from my avatar. Personally, it chuckled. I wonder what he was controlling it. Kill them all. The man who looked like an aging aging hooligan was dozing. Careful not to wake him, chief. Kill them all is dangerous. It looked as though he has woken up from a nap. Looked him blankly, then flexed his mouth. Wanna fight? Nope. Don't wanna fight. Don't want to fight. I want to talk about something. Oh, that's a shame. They all want to talk, they order by pay, nobody wants to fight, not even rob me. You're discriminating against the elderly. Pension investigation. That's what fair though. Looking for a kid in an expensive skin, logged in with a friend. Their behavior probably stood out. Behavior stood out? Let's put it in mind. The brass cause mayhem and vanish, that's all I know. That's why he's selling. Do you have a sale? You had me suspiciously and waited as if you expect to hear a secret password. Improvised one. Hmm, show me your wares. <laughs> Wrong game, kid. Um, okay. Bob Sapper. You seem like the only normal person in this whole circus. I would like to know that I don't want to put anything inside you or pull anything out or do anything else these deviants do. I'm not like that. It seems like the no only normal person in this whole circus and I have a sensitive problem. Very sensitive. I'll just say it. I'm looking for my wife. Okay, here I am. Tell me more. All right, this is how it is. I've been standing here at this street club for an hour and can't find Rhonda anywhere. At the same time, I can feel that she's cheating on me. Cut to the chase. Let's cut to the chase, my game deck. I need information about your wife, not what you had for breakfast. Game deck, I blocked out. I was told that she plays here often and has quite the results, huh? You know the handle she uses? There was something in the numbers that like some uh, horny or something. Will you help me? Sure. All right, I look for. Her. Really? Thank you. There are some good people left in the world. Uh, wife's case. Uh, skin? Do you know the skin your wife is wearing? Skin on top of everything. She's wearing people's skins. Mental skin, you know, a gaming avatar. It's like, oh, I know what a skin is. That's what you were talking about. Another perversion, human skinned alive. No matter, I have no idea what she looks like here. Um, preferences does your wife have any special sexual preferences? Any paraphilias? <clears throat> The lad said that she's into some strange thing and likes to push the limits. How can you push the limits in a world such as this? 
us said everything with everything with everyone and everything. Eh? I don't even want to think about it. Investigation. Yes, I'm looking for someone, maybe. Anything to do with Rana? God, I don't even want to think about it. About him? Who are you anyway? A loser. Can't you tell? Loser? A loser? I really get to hear someone being so critical of themselves. What am I supposed to be like? My wife is running off to that. He just put his touch the missing word. He finally gives up on size. You know where she's running off to? Open him. Hey, it happens. It's, it's not the end of the world. No? No? Just wait. I was tipped up anonymously that she hangs out here doing these awful things, so I started looking for the location. Some kind of exclusive level. I'm almost the same as to get him, so this Sodom or Gomorrah, my own money. Sodom? Sodom and Gomorrah? You seriously don't like it here, huh? What's it on? This place is? Don't get me started, am I right? Disgusting. Yes, it disgusts me. Exactly. See, I've been making games for years. The tech behind it all? That's a real beauty. You can use it to create any world, any reality. And they decide to make... Hell, it's an insult to design. When I see such creations, I stop thinking about changing my line of work. Work? So you make games? You never touch an abomination like this one? It doesn't matter. I was fired. Okay. Let's look around. Interesting, you can, it's actually kind of funny that most games have those. Here we go, a mine. I expect it didn't go off when someone tried to detonate, so they threw it in a trash can. It makes perfect sense. Look, an anti personnel mine strong enough to eliminate the player. Leave. Nothing to dig in through trash, not even the digital town. Pretty, people have different opinions about it, I think. Mm, depends on the. The graffiti. Some do it nicely, but some are. Mm. Having an opinion about the skip on the wall is best to let people have too much time on their hands. Spec. The graffiti doesn't look like it was made by AI. Stains and sloppy curves are proved it was made by human. There are two kinds of people here. Some know what they want, they seek pleasure, want to explore, and are ready for the prices. I just also bored with the life to do anything else to feel. I help them all. Uh, looking for Fredo. Looking for a newbie who entered here. I'm looking for a place that can give me satisfaction. Seems as though none of us will get what they want. Ask about her helping people. You help people find meaning here? Oh, you think meaning is the only way you see it, huh? It's easy to help help happy people, but happy people don't come here. Our clan provides truth, knowledge of the depths of life, but your mind is more closed than corporate databases. You don't get it. I ask if she's Bob's wife. Yeah, I don't think so. You look like someone I'm searching for. You married to Bob Sapa? No way, when I saw the pathetic man lurking here today, I understood why his party decided to spend their time here. Ask about sex. That you help people explore their sexual fantasies, right? Sometimes, I'm good at it, but I doubt your uh, partner is suitable for me to play with. Ask who is a suitable partner. And who is a suitable partner for you? Have you found anyone interesting enough recently? A smile broke as uh, superiority. Did you fool yourself into thinking your information gathering techniques were subtle? 
Or kill people for the clan. I see everything playing in this location. I will tell you about none of them. Discretion is key in TMP. I left without another word. We had nothing to talk about. I was thinking about the weirdness stuff. Oh, I'd love this yeah, this is her horny. I'm a little egg queen. I already told you I would love this trick better if you showed it to someone else. She addressed the last sentence, winking at me and currently. Bob Sapham. Actually, I'm looking for someone's wife. It's all adorable and all around that, but how to put it, the butterflies with my magical tummy seem to do a tiny bit inappropriate. Sorry, my friends. Farewell. Hmm. Seems my friend didn't like you either. I think you will have to say your goodbyes. Rhonda. Your name is Rhonda. How do you? Oh, you heard the unicorn addressing me. I would prefer you to call me by my nickname. Seriously, I'll take care of you later, but for now, let me spend a while with the horse. And she's a husband. Sorry for disturbing you, ma'am. Oh, I almost forgot. When Bob Saba asked, why is my Rhonda doing this to me? What do I tell him? Oh, for crying out loud. I guess we do need to talk. Husband's case. Your husband wants me to confirm you're here. Considered confirmed, Ronda Sapa spends plenty of time in a disgusting virtualium for deviants. If you have any idea how he will react, there will be no end to it. Listen, I have a counter of it. Tell him it's not true, convince him he's wrong, and I guarantee I'm someone you want to have indebted to you. you need some time to think about it. Ask about her. I'm not sure how to handle it, need some time to think. I'd like to know some more about you. What can you tell me about yourself? What's there to tell? We are not twisted and I'm also trying to be a bit perverted. I'm looking for a kid named Fredo. A rich boy, probably in some trouble. I need help finding him. But did I know the thing with my husband? How would how the thing with my husband played out? Therefore, if you don't follow the truth, you'll never be completely free, you understand? I think so. Glad, handsome. I think we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Listen. Glad, handsome. I think we should continue. Okay. Give me your deeds. We'll meet somewhere in Rhenium and talk further. Or closer. He smiled roguishly. It sounds like a good idea. Hey, want to see a magic trick? What the hell is that? Talking horse? Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm a unicorn. Mm, observe. Ignore and focus on me, Hansen. A unicorn that knows magic tricks. You want to see? You're not gonna leave us alone, are you? Don't do what's the trick. Come on, choose a card. Right, let it be. Not a trick, this is another goddamn exploit of a goddamn troll. Big bees probably arm armored too. Take a look. Long engine reinforced chassis stands out. Not sure what the fuss is about though. Hmm, so... Uh, 
how are we with uh, things, by the way? Uh. So it seems like that's him. Excuse me, have you seen my wife? Hmm. And what is this case? So. Question if we should uh, give him Twenty aspects, buddy. Your wife's playing TMP. Oh God, everything is going to hell. Could you, could you tell me what she's doing here? He's playing. He's playing a game, TMP peculiar, but it's still a game. You're the son, you should understand. Maybe you're right, maybe we can work it out somehow. Hey, listen, if you ever need help in Harvest Time, say the password and my Corhisa to the bartender will send you. I'm looking for a young man with access to money, okay? Do you see anyone in expenses gain something top of the line? A while ago, I saw two guys and a woman. One kept looking around, but the other seemed like seemed to like at him. The ha first had a kick ass skin. Uh, they called him Flap Duel. Strange taking into considering the behavioral stance in TMP. I didn't see, but I heard something. There are gates at the subway entrance. Someone yelled, Flap doodle, you idiot. The woman responded, Don't talk to him like that, took a bay. Someone, uh, someone shot something and people got around. I didn't go. I just care about Rhonda. Did they fire you? It's a long story. I was working on Harvest Grove system for Harvest Time, and they gave me an AI assistant to train it, to taught it, corrected it, and they finally let me go. Too bad they didn't tell me earlier. I wouldn't have spent all the money on looking for my wife.
clown with an octopus like head impossible to ignore <laughs> no. They held a red balloon in the green scaly hand. It floated over both our heads. Only poetry or madness, yes. It must have been the clown I had read about. Why didn't anyone mention the tentacles on the face? He came still and looked at me. Oh, I have a old little boy. Did you come to play with me? They seem disturbed. I'm a game deck. You're acting a bit strange. Is something upsetting you? Game deck? I was looking for you. That's what they were looking for you. Looking for me? Why? Not for you, you silly. For a game deck to help me... To help me help this place. So glad you're finally here, Jim. I was sure I hadn't told him my name. Ask about them. Who are you again? Is it acknowledged? Of course you do. We live in a placid island of ignorance. Others here seem to accept it. They don't ask questions. We are not uh, meant to voyage deep amidst the black seas of infinity. Perhaps it won't destroy you to know that I am a clown. You will help, right? It was probably about the room and virus, but what was their whole deal? As if this is about the virus. There are rumors that you've been talking to others about the virus. Is this what you need help with? Yes, that's what it's all about. There's a virus in this virtual room. I let... No, I already did. Yeah, I let it loose. It didn't mean to cause trouble. It mutated, I lost control of it, and now I need your help. Simon. I listened, but I didn't utter a word. As if they're a hacker. So, you're a hacker. Clown fidget. They were clearly unnerved by the words. Truth be told, I, I am a hacker. It seemed a shame. I'm sorry, I tried to fix the virus situation, but I failed. Only you can help, Jim. They lowered their voice. Virus tells me things, glimpses of a bit of neons that chill me when I think of them and madden me when I dream of them. Troll will come, a bad, bad troll. I see them shooting you and you shooting them. The VR virus said so. Believe them? I believe them. Wait, would it happen or did it already happen? I had to be on my toes if the shooter was to happen soon. But to happen in the gym, the clown couldn't contain their excitement. See? I told you so. A hacker clown with an octopus head, predicting the future. Oh well, I suppose there was no harm in here what he had to say. Well, ask about the shootouts. Shootout with a troll happened like you said it would. How did you know? The virus told me about you in the shootout. It tells me a lot of things, but I can't take it anymore. The clown touched the temples as if they had a headache. It all began when it mutated and stopped listening to me. Ask about the virus. I wonder if I could learn more about the virus from them. Ask if we can catch the virus. Won't I catch the virus? Don't have your eyes closed. Can you? Hmm, no, you can't. There's no future in which you can, in which you catch a virus. Did I believe them? Was it my best interest to do so? Ask what the symptoms. What are the symptoms of this virus? First, the splitting headache. The world around you dissolves. You dissolve as if you will lose yourself, as if something is taking over. Then knowledge flows into your mind, horrific vistas of reality and our frightful position in it, causing madness from revelation. They shook their head. But it doesn't matter because the power of our friendship will conquer it, little Jim. I wonder why they couldn't just log out and forget about the virus and its symptoms. As if they tried logging out. 
Should we try logging out of TMP and forgetting about the virus? It didn't help. The virus goes everywhere I go. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Clown frown. Okay. Let's go the skin. Why this skin? Do you wear it in every game? Not just a skin. It's how I am. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. The feelings on the face move really silently. What about the balloon? Do you like that too? I do. He jumped up with joy. I love my balloon. It's a gift from a designing team P. You know what? I like your skin too, Eugene. It's just a task. What exactly do you need from me? Oh, you haven't taken the job yet, so um, let me answer with the story. Keep listening. The voice went hoarse. I wish with all my heart I hadn't designed a virus and let it loose in my most wicked world I could find. All I wanted knowledge, not realizing that knowledge is the very thing that brings us doom. My creation changed, mutated, spread. I warned them, and they killed me. But it's not the dead which can return alive. So I came back, and I waited for you. But I saw amidst forbidden knowledge that a game that could, uh, would help me contain this monstrosity I created and protect me from going insane. My voice returned to normal, be it child itself. You see, little Jim, you have to help me. Quite a storyteller, aren't you? Just a reward? But what's in it for me? You'll be helping out a friend. They looked me deep in the eye. Plus, everybody needs uh, in-game goodies. My hack here, so I can grant them. Have you already been to Harvest Time? Hmm? Let me see. Exity uh, the clan closes their eyes. Exity points in TMP or gold coins in Harvest Time. Which do you uh, want? Don't choose yet. Need to think about it some more. I'm sorry, I don't have much, but in game good is available, little Jim. Little Jim. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's no need. Campbell knows soon enough. What? And contorted. What is this? A dying star falls from the sky. Will it grant you your wishes? What the hell? Is this? Stay sound, let him focus. Help him out, the man needs to snap out of it, out of it and on his own. Can give me an appreciate not trying to study his breath. You said, okay, okay, I'm good, damn. Well, now I'm concerned, Game Deck. I don't know what to do about it, but if you need help with that virus, let me know. But for now, I need a break. Catch me later. This is really being a weird one. Yeah, one more day, then one more. 